So as you probably guessed by the title, this is my thousandth video and probably my thousandth take of saying this intro because I have a pretty slight lisp. So saying the word a thousand or a thousandth is pretty difficult for me. It's it's not fun. It's not fun having a lisp, let me tell you. <laughs> fun fact, I really didn't even know I had a lisp until I started making videos and people were making fun of me for it. I was like, do I actually have a lisp? I thought that was pretty funny. Also, a really funny omen is that I'm recording this while there's a solar eclipse going on. So thousandth video while a solar eclipse is going on. That that's 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 pretty cool. That's pretty cool. But anyways, um, I, I, I just wanted to make this video s uh, something a little bit more personal and reflective because a thousand videos is a lot. I spend on average two hours, let's say, making a video. That means I've put over 2000 hours into this channel and I have loved every single one. Actually, nope, that's not true. That as soon as I started saying that, I realized that's not true. Cause let me tell you about copyright. Let me tell you about 3D printers. Let me tell you about all the things that I had to deal with the past a thousand videos. So it has been a huge learning curve, but also an extremely great time. I have had so many experiences I never thought I would experience prior to YouTube. There's so many things that I was able to do and get more comfortable with when it came to talking to people and talking to streamers and really growing my people's skills, especially. And I'm extremely grateful for those aspects too, because a lot of you don't see out me outside of these videos, but I have a whole life. I have a whole personality that carries on as soon as I click stop recording and YouTube's really helped me come into my own, I guess, and really help me find out what I'm passionate about and what I want to do in my life going forward. It's these thousand videos that I think really made me who I am because up until I was about 18, I really didn't know who I was. I was just kind of living life, doing what I was told. I was told I had to go to college, told I got to have good grades, got a told, you know, told I had to do all these things. And um, up until that point, I really never knew what I wanted to do, not what I had to do. YouTube really opened my eyes to, okay, well, you like DC, start reacting to DC. Oh, and you know, your comment, oh, you like DC? Maybe I recommend you watching Invincible. I loved Invincible. Hey, maybe you should check out Attack on Titan or Genshin Impact. Man, those, those are actually really good. Or just experiencing different things I never would have experienced, like I said earlier, because of you guys. You guys are the reasons I, I love doing YouTube. What's the point in having a reaction video or showing your passion for something on the internet if you're not being able to share that with other people and talk about it, grow, learn, and share your experiences and your different mindsets. It's so much fun. It's my favorite aspect of it. I'm also very grateful for YouTube in the sense that not a lot of people get the opportunity to look back on their life and visually see it outside of their memory. I can go back and see how I reacted to Christ on Infinite Earths for the first time. See how I reacted to the Avengers Endgame trailer for the first time or see what I looked like back then, what I was doing, what were my living, what was my living situation like in so many different aspects of my life that you get reminded of that I forgot about at times. Like, oh, I remember when I had this. I remember what I was doing here. I remember what was going on in my life at this time. And there's been many times I look back on an old video and although they are extremely hard to watch, um, it, it was still something I definitely appreciated. There's a lot of times I want to delete those older videos, but there's like a certain nostalgia, I guess, to them because it's, it's hard to let go of something you created. And I'm starting to really learn that, especially with other projects I'm working on outside of YouTube. And I'm excited to share those eventually, but it, it's very exciting to really show myself through these thousand videos and to really grow by meeting new people, talking to new people, learning about different things. And I cannot be more grateful for these 1000 videos, even though they have given me so many headaches along the way, it was a learning curve and I'm excited for the next thousand. And there were a lot of times I wanted to stop doing YouTube too, just cause it's very discouraging at times. You know, whether it was after 200 videos and I only had 50 subscribers or, you know, 500 videos, you only have a thousand subscribers and you really hope that you would be farther along by then. And there's just a lot of moments I had along the way up until now. And although saying you've made a thousand videos isn't the same thing as, oh, I reached a thousand subscribers, I reached 10,000 subscribers, you know, a hundred thousand and so on. It's still a very personal goal for myself that I achieved because it shows me I didn't quit. I always told myself I want to at least make a thousand videos before I decide if YouTube's for me or not. And I'm very glad I decided to stick with it because I love doing YouTube videos. So for the thousandth time, for the thousandth time, thousandth, thousandth I think I'm saying it wrong, but at the same time, I think I'm just placeboing affect myself but for the thousandth time god damn it for the one zero 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 th time thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you 
in the next thousand. Unless I get like nuked or hit by a car, get alcohol poisoning, get poisoned, get stabbed, get shot. This is America. Get framed for a murder, get the bubonic plague, fall down a flight of stairs, fall drunk, overdosing on speed.